YouTube. Just wanted to make a little video here about the old Mosin M44. Took her out to the range the other day. And I was quite impressed with it. With some uh, cast loads that I made up. Last year I had it out and I was shooting like inch and a quarter groups with my uh, my load I was using. And uh, I over to where I put this it's just a cheap aim, 2 to 7 power by 32 uh, scope. I think the scope, rings, and mount was 50 bucks. And I uh, heard some good and bad reviews about it, but the main, the worst thing is, is the screw they give you to mount in here. Don't use that, it'll bend. You can see this is bent. What I did was use the hardened steel pin that holds your original sights on and I drove that in there and it's been holding up good I also had to put a cheek riser on it that's a homemade one I made don't have anything in it really it's uh I used a pool noodle where's that at I had one laying here earlier here it is Just a giant little pool noodle. Cut it about here and then cut it like here. Slip that over the stock. And then I put this stretchy ammo carrier on it. Works good. And it didn't cost me anything. I already had the ammo carrier. And uh, oh, I bought this from Howling Raven. So I can uh, hold 10 rounds in it. Makes it a little more fun to play with. And then over the course of the winter, I also free floated the barrel. I used a socket like this that fit the channel. Wrapped a little sandpaper around it like that. And just sanded her out enough I could get a dollar bill in there. But anyway, took her out the other day and I had some amazing results. My uh, cast bullets are these Lee 155. Oh, it's a 312 155. Use this six cavity mold here. But anyway, I was loading them up with some dot powder. Timothy Roberts' favorite stuff. And I got some interesting results. There's one. I can cover that with a dime. It's a 410 group, three shots. That was with uh, 15 grains of blue dot. So then I said, okay, let's shoot five. Same load. There's five shots right there with a quarter to compare it by. That was a 550 group for five shots. Well, then I had another load with, I thought it was unique, I had it wrote down as unique, but I came home and checked it, and tore one, uh, one of the cases apart, one of the bullets, and it was green dot. There's five shots, a 7.65 group with five shots. There's a green dot load with five shots. Cause I knew I pulled a couple on that. I still have the military trigger in it. There, with five shots, I got a 495 group. So, that's two different powders with some pretty awesome groups. Now, I can't, since I did a couple different things, put the scope on it and pre floated the barrel, I can't say which one, you know, helped the most, but all I can say is the combination of doing the two things really helped out. And, uh, anyway, it's a nice cheap load. Fun to shoot because there's very little recoil. There are some, I forgot to take my chrono when I did these. But, uh, from previous time shooting it, they're 17, 1800 feet per second. But, uh, real fun load. 
Anyway, I wanted to show that. I, I was really impressed with the with the groups I got with it. And more than likely, with my old eyes, it was probably the scope that did more than anything. Because, like I say, I, they're the same loads I had from last year. And I, then I was getting like inch and a quarter groups. But between the two things I did, uh, now I'm getting half inch groups. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know this these 70 year old rifles can still shoot at least with cast bullets if you put the time into it so anyway thank you for watching